Hey guys, welcome back, welcome back. So this is gonna be a long video. <laughs> I know you guys saw that marble design. I put it all over Facebook and Instagram. I'm gonna show you how I do it. I'm gonna go through colors real quick. I'm not gonna to get too crazy. Everything will be in the box, but I'm gonna be using all eye gel products today. And there's something extra that I know you guys kind of peeped in the Facebook video and in the Instagram video that you seemed very interested in. It's not an eye gel product, but I do have a set to give away. Not for eye gel, for something else. I'll talk about that a little bit later. Um, I'm gonna do a full mani. I am gonna be using eye gel liquids as well, the base and the activator and the top coat, the uh, gel top coat. You know me, I'm a gel top coat kind of girl, just not a huge fan of dip top coat that's just a personal preference thing you guys can totally use the dip top coat if that's what you're into i make no judgments <laughs> for me it's just a pain in the you know what to work with but so i have tea on the liquids this is the i think they just repackaged their bottles so i have the new bottles and i gel did send me their liquids to try i've tried them twice now the first time i tried i gel liquids gonna be honest I was not a fan and I'm not even entirely sure why I really don't know I'm trying to think back to my first experience with the eye gel liquids and I'm not I can't pinpoint what my problem was I don't know <laughs> maybe I was in a mood that day who knows but I actually really like this base it's very different than the Virgo and gem it's different even maybe than triple vitamin. It reminded me a lot of triple vitamin, but so the Virgo and Gem, you guys know that's like my favorite base. And I love it because it's so thin and it requires so little filing, but every, I guess there's a negative to every positive, right? If you're not the kind of person that wants to do that extra dip, you don't like doing that many layers. It takes too much time, you know, whatever your reasoning might be, this might be a better alternative for you and I'll tell you why. The consistency of the eye gel base is a little bit thicker and I find that this does two things. This requires fewer layers because of the thicker consistency it absorbs more powder which means more opacity and fewer dips. Does that compute? It computes in my head. <laughs> I think it made sense. So normally with Virgo and Gem I would do three dips of color because the layers are so thin. With the eye gel base, I only needed two dips of color and then my dip of clear because it, it was opaque enough to do only two dips, which that was great. It's also slower drying than the Virgo and Gem. So I find that probably for ombre or for your French designs, this might be a better base alternative than the Virgo and Gem just because it's gonna dry slower and give you more time to work. Or if you're a beginner and you want to take your time and have the ability to clean up or do whatever you wanna do without that base drying super quick, again, this might be a better alternative for you guys if you like a slower drying base. So I made an executive decision right here that you're gonna see in a second. I was gonna do a third dip into the baby powder but at the last minute, I'm like, nope, that's enough opacity for me. And I did my dip in clear. And I know I had a bunch of you guys ask in the recent past for me to show you how I build up an apex on my nails. Um, and I'm going to show you in two separate videos how I do this. This one is going to be for like this length nail. And what I do for myself, granted, this is just what I do. You don't have to do what I do. This is just what I do. <laughs> I said do too many times. Um, so what you're going to see me do is I'm going to do like a three quarter dip in the clear on all of my nails, all the nails that are not, you know, white. <laughs> and that's what I do for that length nail to just build up the apex slightly and reinforce the free edge on my right hand and do it a little bit differently. And you'll see that coming up in another video very soon. Um, and that's only because my nails on my right hand are slightly longer. So I do a half dip in clear, then a three quarter dip in clear. And then I start my full dips. Um, I actually really enjoyed this base. I had zero issues, zero eye burn, nothing. This did not bother my eyes, didn't bother my nose. 
to nothing and the activator worked perfectly as you guys will see so i'm going to get into my whole big mani i'm doing a i guess a tri-colored mani if you will i'm doing a couple of nails a couple of colors and then i'll have my one accent nail and you're going to see me marble that coming up here in just a little bit one thing that i actually i forgot to tell you about that i had to go and like rewind myself and make sure i told you about before i forgot is okay so one of uh, my favorites list changes on like a daily basis <laughs> i'm sure you guys are frustrated with that i'm frustrated with myself because i never know what to use anymore but i will tell you this if you are getting into iGel, especially with all their sales, and you're looking for some dupes, I've got one for you. So you guys may or may not know that Revel Erica is like up there in my top faves. It's just the perfect pink. It's classy and Chow Bella is, in my opinion, a perfect dupe for Erica. You guys will see after, you know, the Manny is said and done. And I'm wearing it right now as I'm doing this voiceover. And I'm obsessed with this Manny, by the way. I freaking love it. One of my faves. And I'm telling you, it looks, it's a dead ringer, in my opinion, for Erica. So if you love that color and you're looking for something similar with eye gel, Chow Bella is your girl. <laughs> Wanted to make sure you guys knew that because I was so excited when I put this on. I'm like, holy crap. It's Erica. It's Erica. I shall create Erica. And it's Chow Bella. And I love it so, so, so much. Love it. I want to put it everywhere. It might actually be a good pedicure color now that I'm thinking about it. And I'm so glad I have it in the gel for my petties. Otherwise, I would have to go and order it. I'd have to go order another order. Y'all, I'm bad. I'm the worst influence ever. I know this whole no by July was like a great idea. And if you were successful, please let me know in the comments section if you were successful. I was a failure. However, I will tell you the whole no by July thing. Yes, it was a quote, no by July, but it was more so a, I don't know, a way to not spend as much as I normally would, because as you guys heard in my whole no by July, I don't know, promo, <laughs> I spent a lot y'all with quarantine and like the whole thing. I spent a crazy amount of money on product and I just didn't want to. I was so like fed up with myself. I'm like, I, I have so much stuff and I don't know why. <laughs> it's like therapy, retail therapy gone haywire. So the no by July was just a way to slow down and not feel the need to jump at every opportunity. And I definitely didn't. My spending for July way down, way, way, way down because of no by July. And I hope that helped you guys a little bit too. Even if it was a little bit, even if it was one purchase that you stopped yourself from making, I'd call that a success, if I'm just being honest. Anyway, I'm gonna shush for just a little bit. I'm gonna let you guys watch me finish dipping. I am putting in the whole mani here, um, just cause I wanna, I, you know me, I like you guys to experience everything with me, but feel free to fast forward if you want to. I will be including my filing and stuff in this video also. I'm gonna put timestamps, I think down in the description box maybe so you can feel free to fast forward if you need to this tranquil aqua color by the way oh so good so good it's i mean i don't even want to call it a green it's not a green in my i can't call it a green because then i won't like it but it's not a green it's aqua <laughs> i don't know you guys will have to let me know what you think about it when you see it i'm gonna let you guys watch i'm gonna hush and i will be right back
I wanted to hop back in and just make note of something. Do you guys notice that my jar of eye gel clear is getting low? <laughs> I can't believe I'm going through this stuff this freaking fast, but that's a sign. That's a sign that I really like this clear. And I'm so glad that I went and got the big, like, I think it's a 16 ounce giant refill jar thing of it when I did. Um, because I am going through this stuff like crazy. Am I even kidding you? This is now going on every mini. And I've decided that this jar, I think maybe after a couple of more, you know, manis, I might just make it my clear jar and just refill it. Uh, it's probably gonna be my plan. I don't wanna use it for glitter. Like, I, I don't know, I'm so torn. I'm so torn. I don't know if I wanna use my Mia Secret because I still have a lot of that. Although, I am really liking the Mia Secret formula for acrylic. It works as dip too. And I may do a video on that. Let me know if you want to see a video on using Mia Secret like cover pink or cover beige or whatever acrylics as dip powder and I'll film that for you guys. But I do really like their formula for acrylic. Um, as soon as I get my hand, <laughs> my red iguana like silicone hand, my practice hand, as soon as I get it, because I, I know you guys have been wanting to see how I did the acrylic on Brian. I'll leave a photo in here for you guys if you didn't see it on Facebook. Uh, if you're not in my Facebook group, I would love to have you, by the way. We have so much fun there. The girls are insanely amazing. I can't say enough good things about the girls in my group. I love them all with my whole heart. The group is amazing, and I can't even take credit for it. It's them. The girls in the group make that group incredible. So I'll link that in the box for you guys, too. Uh, feel free to jump over. I would love to have you. Uh, yeah, so me a secret. If you want me to do a video on that, definitely comment and let me know and I'll make that happen for you. Uh, so this is my new little filing routine. I don't know if you guys have really seen this yet, but I've started contouring more with my hand file. I don't know. I'm just liking it so much more. I don't, I don't know. I don't know. I think something's wrong. Marla's broken. <laughs> Call the medic. Marla's hand filing. Um, I'm going to be doing a little bit of e-filing too, but I don't know. I'm getting more into the hand file lately. Crazy. I know. So I'm going to call a doctor. Anyway, I'm going to let you guys watch me file. I know how much you love to do that. I'm going to let you watch me file. We're going to get into some nail art with the marbling. I know it's what you guys are all here for. And a little bit of a giveaway for you guys. So stick around and I'll be right back. So I totally forgot this was in the video <laughs> and I wanted to jump in and tell you. I picked up this diamond bit from iGel. It is fantastic. So, cause I know that a lot of you guys, um, especially you new guys will comment or DM me or email me and ask me about this particular bit and where to find it. And usually I use the ones that come with my old e-files because the iGel e-file does not come with bits. Um, but most of my other e-files did. And they're all essentially the same, I think, maybe. Um, but this bit in particular is the one I always use for my cuticle work and for like contouring around the cuticle area. And so I grabbed this one from iGel and it works perfectly. So if you guys are looking for an e-file drill bit that's like this one, I'll leave the iGel one linked in the box for you guys. Uh, as I'm doing this voiceover, they just brought back their 60% off sale. I don't know how, how long that's gonna last. It's so funny because 
everyone asks me the same question. They think because I'm an IHL ambassador that I know when their sales going to end. Y'all, I know nothing. <laughs> I don't ask questions. I don't get answers because I don't ask the questions. Um, so I don't know, nor do I know if they would actually tell me. I don't know if I'm privy to, I don't know what an ambassador does. I have no idea. <laughs> if you haven't seen my um, iGel video swatching the jellies, I did explain a lot about the company itself in that video. And it's really good information to know if you're like me and you appreciate the company for who they are and not just the products they sell. So I'm going to leave that linked in the, um, what should I call it, cards up there. The giveaway is now closed. So please don't like jump into the giveaway because I did, I did a giveaway in that video. But if you want to hear some really great info about iGel as a company, I would highly advise you watch that video. There's some good info in there. I'm going to continue e-filing. I'm almost done. I will come back for some marble and the giveaway deets. Um, I actually, I, I, I found her through MVP nails through Gigi. Uh, I saw a video that she did and she mentioned these palettes and I had been looking for palettes like this, but I couldn't find ones I loved. And I reached out to cafe girl nails. She's the maker of the palette. And I had heard that she made custom palettes and I was like, can you make me some of these? And she's like, heck yeah, I got you. And I actually ordered two sets from her. I didn't even realize it came in a set. It was a set of like four or five different palettes, all in the same design, but it's a set. So I ordered two of the sets from her and I'm going to give away one of them. So if you would like to win a set of these absolutely stunningly gorgeous palettes that you can use for gel polish, you can use it for regular polish. If you're doing like reverse stamping, you can use it for coasters. I use, I use mine for a coaster. Like this one I use for nails and then my other ones I use as coasters because sometimes at my nail desk, you know, I want to put my cup on something. I usually have coffee or wine <laughs> and I want to put it on something. They make gorgeous coasters. So I do have a set to give away to one of you guys. Um, giveaway is per usual. Like, be subscribed, comment down below, best way to reach you. And I will let this go for one week. Not even. No, I won't do that. That's. I feel like that's just so long. Um let's say four days from today, I will announce the giveaway winner and you'll win yourself a set of these absolutely stunningly gorgeous palettes. Um, I didn't think to show you the one that I had for you. It's similar to this one, but it's like a darker blue. So definitely, definitely enter the giveaway if you would like that. So the marble, as you guys can see, I just put a few dots of each color and I used coordinating colors to the mani that I'm wearing. Um, and I'm going to go ahead and give it a swirl. So it's got a little marble design on it. I'm going to go ahead and apply. I did, I added one color that was not in the Manny, just as like an accent color. It's the granite peak. I love that color so, so, so much. Like with my whole heart, love that color. So like I said, I'm going to go ahead and give it a little swirl. And then I'm going to apply the blossom gel, um, to the white nail. And I'm going to let you guys watch the whole thing, get a visual of it, and I will be...
<laughs> but it's something that can be can't be cleaned up with a little bit of alcohol which you're going to see me do here but that is literally how easy it is to do this marble accent nail and i'm not even kidding you guys once i learned how to do this I want to marble everything. <laughs> I literally want to marble every mani, and you know what? I might, because they're my nails and I can do what I want. So you may be seeing a lot of marble manis in the foreseeable future until I get tired of it, which is probably going to be never. I love it so much. It's so dang easy, like super simple. Gravity does a lot of the work for you, so all you have to do is like point your finger down, walk that like gel polish so super gently down your nail. It's so easy, so easy and so effective. Like the marble payoff that I got from this is just insane. So as you saw in text, you do not wanna cure the blossom gel until after you get all of the gel on your nail. And then you can go ahead and cure it. So that's what I'm gonna do now. And then I'm going to go ahead and top coat everything and I'll be back with you guys. But you know what? After I give us a cure, I'm gonna show you how I clean off the palette because I know you guys had questions about that too when you saw it in my Facebook or my Instagram whatever um, I'm going to top coat first and then I'm going to come back and I'm going to show you how to clean off the palette so stick around I'll be back with you guys in just a bit is the finish Manny I'm so happy with it these colors together just they work so well I don't know why I'm like big into pinks with blues and greens and I don't I don't know it just works it may have been slightly inspired by the palette I ain't even gonna lie <laughs> so here is how we clean off the palette I'm just gonna use a little bit of my alcohol that I have here it's just rubbing alcohol I think it's 90% alcohol and I give it a wipe down and that's it because gel doesn't cure you can go ahead and just wipe it off with alcohol if you're using um, like actual polish you can absolutely use polish remover and it'll take it off no problem these palettes are made out of resin so they're very sturdy they're very strong they're not gonna like if you drop it on the floor it's probably not gonna break um, it kind of feels like plastic you know so it's not glass not gonna break I'm going to leave all of her info down in the description box. And if you guys want to enter the giveaway yet again, I will tell you what the requirements are. Be subscribed, like the video, comment down below the best way to reach you, and you will automatically be entered to win a set of these absolutely gorgeous palettes. And I got to tell you, you guys know I'm big into the company itself and not just the products. I've spoken with Gina quite a bit um you know through the ordering process and then afterwards and she sent me a bunch of other cute stuff just as like a gift and she is just the sweetest thing ever i love her to death i love you gina i hope you guys like this video enter the giveaway i will see you guys in the next one love you bye